So uh, thank you very much, Ruben. Uh, I think it's a very interesting uh, session. Uh, I would like first to thank the organizers for an invitation. Moreover, because we are sharing some experiences with China and Thailand, which are very similar, uh, they have similar epidemics uh, 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 as Brazil, uh, uh, concentrated epidemic, uh, and the challenges for 1990 uh, are important in that case. So this is the epidemic in Brazil today. We have in general population 0.4. But we have in some people um, some uh, very different uh, prevalence. Like in people who use drugs, uh, it's 5.9. In people who use crack, uh, cocaine, um, and this is more sexual transmission, is 5.0. In uh, gay and other men who have sex with men is uh, about 10.5. Uh, and uh, in uh, sex workers is about 4.9. Um, the missing piece that we are working this year is uh, to have some information on transgender. We got on the streets a very important uh, difference between transgender and men who have sex with men in general, but we are working uh, to get some national data on this. Um, so when we go for young people, we do have, as most of the countries today, uh, a specific growth of the epidemic related to young. Uh, and from people from 15 to 24, uh, we have this uh, impressive growth from 2004 to 2013. Um, so this is our cascade, um, and this is uh, like Brazil is doing uh, relatively well. Uh, however, we thought uh, by the end of uh, 2013 that this was not enough. So it was good, but not enough. And uh, it was time to change the business and to do things in a different way. Um, I normally say that if we keep doing the same as we did for uh, HIV during almost 30 years, in the case of Brazil, we probably got the same results that our national team got in the last World Cup, uh, which was not good. So. Uh, just living from history and keeping doing the same is something that di didn't work out. Um, so we have about uh, 40,000 new infections per year by the end of 2013, uh, 12,000 uh, AIDS-related deaths. And uh, when you see the viral suppression, which is uh, uh, the last uh, uh, piece of the cascade, uh, we have the viral suppression in blue is what Brazil considers viral suppression, which is 50 copies. Uh, then we have in red 200 copies, and then we have the WHO standard with 1,000 copies. So uh, that's why we have three colors in that uh, specific column. So then the new targets and new approach, uh, as we most of you probably know, uh, uh, in the first Latin American Caribbean Forum on Continuum of Care in Mexico City in 2014 was when the 1990 goals were, were established right uh, after, during the World AIDS Conference of last year, it became a global target, but uh, it was born here in, in Americas, but uh, in Latin America, in Mexico. Uh, so basically the idea you all know, we do not need to go through this, but so the new way of seeing things in Brazil is to go for new targets, new approaches, and new strategies, and basically we are talking about combination prevention as a very key um, uh, element for uh, changing the scene. For combination prevention, uh, we are considering uh, regular testing, uh, PEP that we already have, and PrEP that we are uh, in place for a study, uh, a peri uh, perinatal HIV testing for mother-child transmission, harm reduction strategies, uh, treat other STIs, uh, uh, male and female condoms that we do for 100 years, and antiretroviral treatment. Uh, including our new guidelines that came out in December of 2013 that treats everybody who is HIV positive regardless of CD4. Um, another strategy that uh, is being extremely useful for us is to target, because we have a concentrated epidemic, 
and we are working to target uh, uh, key populations uh, through peer interventions. We did that in HIV for 300 years for education, condoms, and everything, but now we are doing for testing. And, uh, and it's really impressive, like in, in health services in Brazil, even health services like VCT dedicated to HIV, we always got prevalence of 0.4 to 1%, that's the most we can get. So in the streets, going after uh, key populations through NGOs that are related to key populations in a peer strategy, we are getting 12%, 6.4%, 4.7%. So depending on the population, but it's really different, uh, the up uptake of uh, working with NGOs for testing. We also launched a, a specific um, um, self-testing project with the US CDC. It's a partnership with the government of Brazil, the government of the city of Curitiba. Uh, that's been, again, uh, extremely successful because uh, people can go to the internet, register, and receive their test at home. It's more directly to gay uh, and men who have sex with men. Uh, but has, again, an impressive uptake to have self-testing as an option. So uh, for testing, if we wanted to take the first 90, we really need to be creative. So we, if we keep doing as the same, VCTs and the classical, we go nowhere. So we, we need to go out of the box and to try to do something else. So we also, in the new HIV guidelines, we develop a lot of new tools that use smartphones and apps that make easy for the doctors to have the guidelines, but also for the clients to have the guidelines. And we develop one specific application that is for adherence. And this is being extremely popular in the country. Uh, that goes for all the data of the patient inside of the app, and uh, it rings a bell in the time to take the drug. So it's, uh, it's, uh, it's been extremely popular among uh, people who is in treatment. Uh, on PEP, uh, we have a radical simplification of the protocol. We just uh, came out with that. We have PEP in Brazil for uh, since 2010, uh, 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 for uh, rape and sexual abuse. Then in 2012, we did for every kind of accident, including uh, condom uh, broke or any, any other accident or uh, sex without condoms. Uh, but we used to have three different uh, PEP strategies, one for health professionals, one for sexual abuse, and the other one for other accidents. And we joined them. And uh, we are making, a, an, again, an app that uh, the person is traveling in Brazil for different state or different place, and he will know where they can go for PEP. Last year, we did uh, around almost 30,000 PEP, uh, but it's still very small for the size of uh, the perspective of using PEP as prevention. In PrEP, we have two national studies ongoing, supported by the Ministry of Health. Uh, one is, uh, uh, in the total is about 1,300 people. The app, uh, so far, uh, we're going to have some of the results presented here in the conference. Uh, and the acceptance of the Brazilian population is very high, different from China. People is very excited about uh, PrEP as an option. And uh, you can see uh, in one of the publications of, uh, of the International Aid Society that we commit uh, to consider uh, PrEP as a national policy very soon. So in terms of oral fluid, uh, we are doing uh, the self-test I already mentioned. Uh, that makes life very easy, and in 15 minutes you can get the results of a uh, screening test. We are also targeting the young population, working with uh, our national campaign was hashtag uh, go testy. Uh, and uh, this campaign came through the whole year since the end of 2014. It became very popular among young people, and we went uh, through all the social media that they use, and we are also building capacity of new leadership on the young population. 
We open uh, training for young population with 50 slots. We got more than 1,000 registrations. And uh, by the end of the day, we are doing two and opening a, a EAD, uh, uh, education at, at distance, uh, to make sure that everybody got. That's the number of people on, on ART in Brazil. Uh, that's our, uh, if you see 2014, uh, you see in purple that 41% uh, uh, of uh, the people who got ART in 2014 is over 500, meaning our guidelines is uh, working. Doctors are prescribing and patients are taking. And the most important thing is the viral suppression is exactly the same of before. So uh, all this question of should people who will take uh, over 500 they will uh, stop to take medicines or they're not committed. They are committed, they are taking, and the viral suppression is still very high. So we have, uh, uh, as I said before, uh, if we consider different uh, uh, standards of viral suppression, if we consider WHO of viral suppression, we have almost uh, 89%. Uh, so then uh, those are the targets of 1999. That's what we attribute so far. And in red is what we have to go until 2020. So uh, to finalize, we are completely committed to 1999, and we believe that Brazil is part of this global effort to do so. Uh, those are my colleagues who helped in the presentation, and thank you very much.